All right, welcome to um, Hudson Field today. Um, this is Mike Baker for HCTV Channel 1080. Um, ready for a game from the, the Hazen Wildcats and Lake Region Rangers. Um, Hazen comes into this game with a 4-0 record um, and Lake Region coming in at 0-4. Um, the voice of the Wildcats, Lance Hall, is on his way after a long day at work and he should be here pretty soon. Um, the Wildcats today have Lyle Rooney on the mound. Lyle has been really solid in all his appearances this year and doing a good job. So before we get started, um, a quick reminder that you are watching HCTV channel 1080 www.hctv.us and it's sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC GMTC cinsd.org jumpstart your future um, and applications are now available for those programs um, there's many different programs involved um, at, at GMTCC um, so finally getting a day without rain here it's good to have a game at Hudson Fields and again Lyle Rooney on the mound and we're getting ready for baseball here with number 11, Johnny Pierce, uh, the center fielder for Lake Region, stepping in. And Rooney's re ready to deliver his first pitch of the game. And it's a pop fly, shallow right field. It's a tough play. Jake Hayden hustling in and can't quite get there. And Piers hustling into second base with a leadoff bloop double down the line. Kind of hit to no man's land out there and Hayden hustling out and the infielders hus hustling out and then uh, just kind of dropping in. So Lake Region with a runner at second base and wondering um, to start with if they're gonna be aggressive on the bases today. Um, and again, Hazen has James Montgomery behind the plate with a really good arm back there. And Rooney delivers a strike to Shane Stevens. Um, he is pitching for Lake Region today and really trying to help his cause and drive in this run on second base. Another fly ball to right field, struck pretty well. And that's going to drop in. And around is Pierce to score on Shane Stevens' double. That ball was well hit by Stevens, kind of sliced out to right field and dropping in. And number 12, Gabe Gardner, who's catching today, steps in. Again, Gardner is catching today. Rooney is ready and delivers. Just missing. Just missing from Rooney. A pretty good looking pitch. Shane Stevens, at the runner at second base. Getting his lead off. And a high pop up. Re Revard should be under this and makes a catch. That one a mile, hit a mile high by Gardner, but Revard under it to make the catch for the first out of the inning. And now up Jonathan, Jonathan Gilchrist playing first base today for Lake Region, who still has a runner at second base, Shane Stevens. Check swing, Montgomery with it. And a Strong throw by Montgomery, but a good job by Stevens hustling into third base. We have a 1-0 count here. Rooney ready to pitch. And that just missing. Good pitch from Rooney with the count going to two and one. 
And a runner at third base, again for Lake Region. And Gilchrist trying to get this runner home. Another ball hit out to right field out of play with Hayden hustling over. Lake Region's really looking like they're trying to make an effort to go to the opposite field against Rooney. There are two hits um, out to right field. An off-speed pitch from Rooney, and the count goes 3-2. Good, good block by Montgomery behind the plate, keeping it in front of him. And a comebacker to Rooney, looks the runner back, and fires the first for the out. And a really good play by Rooney, coming up with a grounder, looking to run her back and making a good throw to first. So two outs here for Logan Curtis, the shortstop for Lake Region. And Hazen would be happy if they can get out of this with um, just run, one run on the board for Lake Region. And a good start for Rooney with a strike. And a big swing by Curtis. Good pitch from Rooney. Count is 0-2. We'll see if Rooney comes in with a strike or tries to waste one to get him to go after one out of the strike zone. Oh, boy. That one just missing. Hazen was started in to the dugout. Um, not missing by much. Good spot from Rooney on the 0-2 the pitch. And again, just missing. Count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Rooney gets set. He pitches. And Curtis fights it off. And again, the count is two and two. And good pitch from Rooney. So strike three. Um, he gets Curtis on strike. So after half an inning, it's 1-0 Lake Region with Hazen coming up. And again, this game um, is coming to you from HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. And it's sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.insd.org. Jumpstart your future with applications now available. Okay, we have a guest on here, Ivan Menard, for for a little bit. It's good to have Ivan on here as Hazen gets ready to hit in the bottom of the first inning. Um, Hazen today is leadoff Jaden Baker and um, followed by Tyler Revar, James Montgomery, Lyle Rooney, Andrew Menard, Jake Davison, Jake Hayden, Owen Scorstad, and Brendan Moody. So it's nice, Ivan, to finally have a day where it's not raining here. Not raining, but it might just snow. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, pretty tough weather going on right now, but that lineup, Mike, is uh, very strong, a lot of speed, good hitting, well-rounded lineup there. No, oh, I, I agree. One through nine, they can do damage, and mm -hmm. I think one of Hazen's best facets this year is their ability to run the bases. Um, like you said, good speed and smart base runners and definitely have been well-coached on getting the extra bases when they can. Certainly have. I mean, uh, if we can get Jaden on there to start with, we, we already know that Tyler's going to, you know, make contact and move him around in our aggressive base running style. Certainly does help. Oh, definitely. So Baker gets ready to dig in here. Um, he's playing center field today against Shane Stevens, who's pitching. And... 
Our boys are down there cackling like the birds on the wire <laughs> that they are down there looking good. Oh, we always have a great bench over yeah, there, really encouraging to teammates. Certainly do. See what he starts up here if he if he brings the heat or the bender to start with, Mike. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe maybe heat here. Oh, nice start with Jaden cutting yeah. in. Yep. Going after one that was a little high there, but yeah. being aggressive on that first pitch. Yeah. So Stevens ahead, 0-1 here. They're leaving that right pocket open a little bit again, Mike, it looks like to me, huh? Yeah, you know, let's. There we go, Jay, way to lay off, buddy. And, you know, you saw Lake Region in the top of the first inning, kind of going to right field a little bit, going with the pitch, so. Yep, sure was. There we go, now we're gonna have some speed. Watch this, come on, Jaden. Good hustle. And Baker grounds to shortstop to start it off. Tyler Revard up next, because Tyler's playing shortstop today. And you see the outfielders moving back a, a little bit. Tyler's been known to hit some out by the bank occasionally. Certainly has. And he's had a hot bat last three games. He has, he's been swinging it well. Sure has. Here we go, speed, speed, speed. Another grounder to short. Good hustle. Well. And Tyler just hustled down the line. He gets second as the ball goes out of play, reaching on the error. And Logan Curtis is keeping busy out there on the first two, two batters, two hit right to him. Yeah. It's nice that, you know, our, our Jaden and those that they're on him right now. That's good that they're hitting it up the middle. So. They are. And James Montgomery up, and James has also been swinging it pretty hot lately. He's hitting the ball very well right now. Let's see if he can follow it up this morning. Yep, yep, well, now James has seen it. We haven't seen a lot of pitches from Stevens, but he looks like he's throwing strikes. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's gonna throw accurately. Revard will probably look to be aggressive on the bases. Tyler is, is uh, he's almost invisible out there sometimes as a runner, you know, as big as he is and as yeah, tall as he is. Yeah. Just that speed and heads up. Good instincts, good sure. base running instincts. Yep. Let's yeah. see what James does with this next one here. I know that, that hole out in right center, always thinking about it. Yeah, yep. he did look like he was trying to go that way. Yep. The count goes to 0 and 2. Catcher out for a quick conversation on what to do on the 0-2 pitch. You think we'll see something off speed here, curveball or you know, something, Ivan? That's what I'm thinking, Mike. The other thing that I'm wondering is uh, this Lake Region team really grew since last year. Yes, my yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Boy. Some big, strong kids, kids there. Exactly. All right. Let's see what James gets here for. A... Delayed call from the bench to get back, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. All right, one seven. And good eye. There we go. Tried to come with that high stuff on 0-2, and James did a good job laying off it. That's a tough pitch, you know, especially when you get higher in the count to lay off that yeah. high pitch. But James is he's still ahead. Well, one and two, my my bad. Revert off, and he's going. Oh, James was looking. For yeah, almost a little hit and run action mm -hmm. there. And like you said, trying to go the other way with that pitch. Yeah. Luckily, you know, we're not live, so they're not listening into our, <laughs> our strategy. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> See, now now I want to have that hit run on again, Mike. Good situation for it. James with a good bat, Tyler, good speed. Oh, baby. And a big swing by, Certainly. by James. Yeah. And I think he took a little off that one. I think James was expecting a little more heat that time. No, I think so. And a good pitch by Stevens. And 
Rooney trying to help himself here. Runner at second base. Yeah, see if Lyle can help himself up here. Oh, we better get down. Oh! Speed, speed, speed. Very good. Again, Hazen's aggressiveness on the base running. Mm -hmm. a, good th a good throw, Ivan. That would have been, been close if it was on the money. Catcher did a great job coming up and releasing it quickly, but it kind of got away a little bit and Revard getting in. Certainly did, but that aggressive base running and situation awareness of just picking up and moving forward. Ooh, baby, up and in, up and in on him. That's all right. Yep. Well, we've tied it up. So. Yes. For some reason, I thought they had two, Mike, but I didn't see that. Yeah, they were kind of threatening a oh. lot that inning, but mm -hmm. didn't quite get the second one in. Sure. You know, for as cool it is that we got a good crowd, you know, a bunch of Hazen supporters up here on the bank. Yes. Yep. It's looking good. Oh, there we go. Good. I don't know about I, you, Ivan, but I've seen over the last couple of years, it seems like... Um, a lot of support towards baseball the last couple of years. More and more people getting out to games, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good thing. Certainly is. Good community spirit. Oh, good job. Yeah. Good job, Lyle. Yeah, good job. That one just missing. Rooney lays off. And have a full count here. They're playing him a little shallow in center, but we'll see if Lyle just makes contact with the full count here. Baby, there we go. Hard line shot to left field. Poor Mike invited me to come and, and help him, but he didn't know I was going to talk. Nah, to you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt hasn't given me the settle down sign. Oh, it's great having you. That's yeah. for sure. That outfield still looks pretty soft out there. That ball hit and it did not go too far. Yeah, it's almost like hitting it with a pitching wedge. It is. You know, and it just biting in. It is. But all that rain. Here comes number seven. We're going. Oh, baby. Good hustle by Rooney. There you go. Yeah, good speed by Rooney. Very good speed. And it, I, I forgot to say, Andrew Menard is batting. Andrew's been on fire lately. Of course, pitching a no-hitter the last game with 13 strikeouts. I can say the good stuff about him because you're... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you yeah. but, Gets it all from his mother. And, and he's been playing some great third base, too, doing, doing a great job over there. There's not much hit to him in the area that he's not coming up with. Oh, there and that we go. goes up the middle. See if they're going to go for it. Yeah. And I guess the center fielder was playing shallow on that one, right? Yeah. So. And we've been, you know, we just talked about that. And, it, and I think, again, Mike, it came off the pitching rubber and it hit that wet ground and slowed right down for it sure. It did. It did. Well, yeah. good hit by Menard out to center field right up the middle. And first and third now for Jake Davison. And Jake's had a hot bat going here. He's doing a fantastic yeah. job for us as well. If I remember correctly, he had two hits like Andrew just had up mm -hmm. the middle last game. Oh, little Big hit on that one. They sent him a, a, a curveball or a, uh, yes, yeah, trying yep. to help me with the, yeah. <laughs> you no, know, you got it. Yeah. And be interesting to see if Menard goes. First and third with two outs. We know no outs and one outs it would be automatic. We'll see about two. Yeah. He got his mother's skill and my speed, Mike. So. <laughs> <laughs> now he'll be very upset with me when we get home. Yeah. But yeah, Jake has been, he's had a hot stick going. And again, a few RBIs on Saturday. Unfortunately, I wasn't around for that game. Oh, they do send him, Mike. You're right. Yep. Two ducks on the pond, as they go. would say. Yep. The boys and, are pretty excited about that one. See if we can yeah, try to um, curve ball there by Stevens, but yeah. missed tie. I think that one got away from him just a little bit. Maybe, you know, 
He's got a lot of blood flowing through the hands there, even oh, as cold yeah. as the rest of us. Yes. Are, but that one just, it's hard on a cool day. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's a high pop that's up. A tough, there's two outs anyways. Catcher is calling for it. Oh, oh, tough yeah. play. I think if he had touched it, that'd have been all right for us, but. It, yes. So. That's that's a very tough play, Mike. It Rick. is There's nothing to judge from straight up like that. It is, and it kind of was moving back towards the infield. And now, Mike, back in the day, what position did you play? Oh, you know, I didn't. I only played through, I think Babe Ruth, Ivan. Yeah. But I pitched and played some shortstop and outfield. Yeah. yeah. I kind of kind of regret not not playing. I ended up ended up taking up golf Ivan that's it and Nothing played on the, we that. had we had the golf team there at Peoples it did pretty well and yeah. well Jake is battling here he's had a couple foul balls see if he can pull it off good eye good eye from Jake is right oh that was a good at bat it brought brought the brought us the walk there he've loaded the bases right up a lot of pressure for our pit the pitcher going yeah, on out and there Jake Hayden the freshman Right. At bat here with a chance to do some damage with the bases loaded. Whoa. What about you, Ivan? Where did you play back in the day? Oh, back in the day, I had some great coaching. Jack Strong started me off at third base and pitching. And then nice. Mike Clark took me through high school. And I, I did the same thing th all the way through high school, just third base and pitched and you know, a little bit of catching. So It's really cool that that's what Andrew was playing then, too, same <laughs> position as Dad. Yeah. So. Oh, there we go. Oh. Good eye by Hayden laying off that tough one. Yeah, I think. Um, let's see if Jay can make some contact or get an RBI going for him. I think he he's gonna. You think it's gonna be the red light here, Mike? Oh, I, no, we're only two and one. Two on one, one, yeah, yeah. I guess I should have worn my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I'm overexcited. Yeah. There we go, kid. Nice oh, job, but just foul. Yeah, just ahead of that. He, yeah. he ripped that one well. Yeah, fortunately for all the viewers, I'll take it through this inning, and and Lance has arrived, so yes. uh, my <laughs> debut is short, but <laughs> next time I'll, I'll let the air out of Lance's tires. Well, no, I'm kidding. Thanks, Ivan, for <laughs> coming on. I re really appreciate it. Oh, Jakey, there we go. Well, that was good. a tough pitch, yeah. tough pitch. Yep, very good. Well, All Mike, right. thank you very much, Kurt. Thank you for the, the camera work, and well, here comes Lance. Well, well, thank you, Ivan. Appreciate you joining us, and um, it's one-to-one -one after one. All right. And welcome back to Hudson Fields, and we have Lance Hall here today. Uh, it's, here I am, it's, finally. It's great to have you here, Lance. Right, that's it's for good sure. to be here, Mike. And yeah, it's we have good a times. tight one-to-one -one game, and yeah, and we got um, Logan Curtis leading off. Um, their shortstop had a couple hit to him. Curtis is playing shortstop and stayed busy in the last inning. Looks like it's been a pretty good ball game so far. It has Lake Region. Started the game with back-to-back -back doubles, nice wow. hits to right field, one that, okay. and uh, yeah, Rooney managed to get out of the jam, and Hazen getting one across in the bottom bottom of the inning. So excellent, more like soccer weather out here today than it is baseball. Man, it's unbelievable, <laughs> it's isn't it? Through. I had 48 on my <laughs> on my phone or on my car. I was like, man, yeah. Thankfully, that's the, okay. thankfully, the vortex hasn't kicked no, yeah, up, and the wind yeah. isn't. The wind isn't too bad. too bad. That so. vortex kicks up, and I'll, I'll keep. I'll be keeping an eye on that pretty close. We know the king is keeping an eye on it. Yeah, we actually have Jaden Shaquette stepping in, and Jaden is playing right field. I mistakenly said Logan Curtis. All right, so this is first pitch, top of the second, correct? It is. A one-one ball game. Strike, no nope, ball. One and one's your count. Mike, don't let me cramp your style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got sick of listening to myself in that <laughs> first inning. So. Yeah, Ivan, uh, Ivan, of course, he'll come over and chat it up. Yes, right? yeah, Ivan did well, that's for sure. It must be kind of fun, though, to, to call. You know, I know it was when Cody and Joey were playing, you know, to call, you know, like you got to play, call Andrews at bat, you know? Yeah. It's got to be kind of cool. That, yeah. Gave him a strike on that one. That looked just a tiny bit high, but. 
This umpire seems, I, I can't see it 100%, but it, he's giving more of the high strikes and less of the low strikes, it seems like, so far. But yeah. That would look that would look good. Yeah, good pitch by Strikes Rooney. out the uh, batter here in the top of the second. Yeah, Next man up. Cameron Griffin. Cameron Griffin. Left fielder. Can you read my chicken scratch there, Lance? Just That'll barely. Be part of, that'll I'm, be part of the challenge. I'm and I'm trying not to put my glasses on because I don't really <laughs> want to. I can see everything else fine. <laughs> There's a little chopper in the dirt. And good play by James coming up with that. Those can be tough sometimes. Yeah, definitely. You get him spinning and hopping around down there, and then you got the runner going down. You got to make the uh, the throw down. And Bryce McCormick, their second baseman, at the plate. Lake Region traveling the same road down that I just did down from, oh, uh, you yeah. know, right there uh, in between Barton and Orleans. That one's just a bit inside. Nice ride down through. They've got a beautiful field up there as well. I went up for a game last year when yeah. we played it last year up there. Yeah, kind of sits up there on the hill, yeah. beautiful views. Yeah, they're, they're, their baseball and soccer fields are awesome up there. Yeah. I'm still a homer, though. Love the stuff. Love oh, the new here as well. Oh, it's great. It's great. So, Lance, I haven't got to talk to you that much personally, kind of through text a little bit. Yeah. You're the dad of a state champion, aren't you? A yeah. gymnastic state champion. Yeah, Lydia went down, um, if I can remember everything correctly, uh, level 7, ages 16 to 18, I believe. She came in first place, state champion down in Bellows Falls that is this past March. Uh, yeah, it was phenomenal. And it was her final meet. She's taken off for early college in uh, August. So she went out with a bang. That, I, that's great. you got to be so proud of that. I am. That's she, that girl worked yeah. hard, hard to get to that. It did not come easy. And now at the plate we have Carlos Martinez, who's playing third base today. Lake Region with a runner at first base. We'll see if they're going to be aggressive on the base paths. And again, James behind the plate with a good arm. Very good arm. Two outs here in the top of the second. Score tied 1-1. One, one. And Rooney gets ready to de deliver. Comes to the set, throws. You can all you can count two. on Lyle to throw strikes, yeah, you know? We've definitely. seen that for a lot of years from yep. him. Strike okay. three. Retires the side. So we'll get to the uh, middle of the second. The score still tied 1-1. One, one. And a reminder... Oh, Lance, take it away. All right. You are watching Hayes and, <laughs> Hayes and I, mean, I almost said basketball. Baseball on HCTV Channel 1080. It's streaming worldwide and archived. Actually, it's archived www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Uh, that's where Liddy went uh, in addition to... Uh, the gymnastics we did. She did that over at Kingdom Gymnastics in St. Jay, but she also went to the Tech Center this year, and they did a fantastic job of, of really kind of uh, honing in on what she wanted to do with her life. And she's decided to take advantage of the early college program. And she uh, there's a program that is affiliated through Castleton, well, Northern Vermont, but I call it Castleton, and uh, down in Killington. And she's going to go down this fall and go to school and basically work right at one of the resorts down there. Uh, wants to go for hospitality. That's a good plan. Yeah. It's a place for you to go and visit, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think she'll do well. You know, when, when I was working for Farrell doing uh, draft tech work, I worked, uh, you know, at the new hotel over there in Burke. I did a lot of work up at Jay Peak and stuff. And uh, I got to know the people in hospitality because that's who I dealt with. And. Uh, they, it's a it's a fantastic thing to get into. I think she's going to be pretty darn good at it. Oh, I bet she'll do great. So we have Shane Stevens back on the mound here for Lake Region, and Owen Scorstad, who's also a freshman, um, as was a previous batter, Jake Hayden, is who's playing left field, is leading off for the Wildcats. And Scorstad has some speed, so if he gets on base, Lance. 
he can run. All right. Now this is Jaden's senior season, final sport. How are you dealing with all this? Oh man, it's going to be hard, Lance. It's going to be hard. It's such a big part of it is part of life. Scorestad rips one into the gap. Way back there. Well hit. Center fielder on his horse, trying to get to it. He's going to go for two. Stop at two. Now I haven't had a chance to see too many of the Cats games. Are they still as aggressive on the bases as they have been the they, last couple of years? They are. We were actually, Ivan and I were talking about that earlier. Very aggressive on the bases. Very good base running team. You can tell they're very well coached at mm -hmm. knowing when to take the extra base. Well, that was ripped by Scorstad. Yeah, that was a great hit. And Brendan Moody, the second baseman, now up. And of course, Brendan coming over from Peoples. He was on that state championship team. Um, at PA last year that beat right. Hazen in the finals. And that was their second straight championship, correct? Nice I bunt. I think it was. Beautiful bunt, advances the runner. Beautiful. And nice work by Moody getting that runner to third base for Baker. Jaden grounded to the shortstop his first time. And yeah, it's, it's tough having him being a senior. It is. I went through two senior nights, you know, with soccer, and it goes by so fast. And I was warned. I was told it's going to go by fast, and I tried to heat it as much as I could, and yeah. it still, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. It, way too fast. Scorestad with a lead. Jaden kind of nubs it to third base. It rolls foul. And... And the count is 0-1 here. Cats looking to tack on another run, build that lead. Jaden looking down for, for to Coach Howard from some signs here. And swinging at a pitch um, out of the strike zone I was there. Say he chased a high one there. Yeah, and the count goes to 0-2. Now he has to protect with the Pitcher definitely having the advantage here. Well, this 1-1 one, one game, really important to try to get this runner home at third. One and two, your count takes a ball there. How difficult is it, Mike, to, I mean, baseball is kind of a hard sport to play in the cold like this, isn't it? I it mean, is. it's not like soccer it where is. you're moving a lot. It's got to be. Tough to throw, tough to hit, tough it to catch is. when you're cold like this. You don't hit it on the screws, you know. You get that vibration. Yeah. Count two and two now. That one's outside. And three and two. Battle back from 0-2 to 3-2 yeah. here. Pitcher looks like he's try maybe trying to overpower a little bit here. He is. He looks like he's trying to. Yeah, that went in on his hands, but he managed to foul it off. And again, Lance is breeze here. <laughs> Hudson board. Fields blowing the blowing our well, papers around. And, and I sat out here one year, one day last year, and I thought I was gonna freeze. Oh yeah, it's. But I, I'm I don't mind it. I'm not a big time hot weather person, so I would much rather stand here. And this, he draws a walk. Yeah. Started out 0-2, drew the walk. Yeah, good at Runners bat. at the corners. And Revard up. Revard, Revard grounded to a short, deep short last time, and he hustled down the line, shortstop, throwing it out of play, and um, Tyler managed to score later on. Um, Jaden will probably be gone on the first or second pitch here. And Keeping him honest over there. Yeah, definitely looking at him. And again, one of Hazen's strong points has been their speed and base running the last couple of years. Real aggressive. One out, first pitch to Rivera. There goes Jaden. He's going to take second standing up. And now Tyler with two in scoring position here. 
So likely stay. even a single can get both of them in here, Lance. A little bit of a gap in between right and center there. Yes, yes. Also could shade him up the right field line here too. That right field is kind of playing right in the middle. Right. Tyler ahead in the count here, 2-0. And, oh. and Stevens pitches. High pop up. Nobody's gonna get that one. You can really hear um, the Hazen coach is doing a great job talking to the runners. Mm -hmm. Letting them know. Yeah, they do a great job with that. Very nice curveball there. Very nice curveball. A lot of speed off that one. Those are tough when they yeah. start off coming at you and kind of dive into the strike zone. That was a nice pitch. And Three and two, full count. Revard looking to jump on one here. Another high pop. Right fielder gives chase. Can't make it. He'd have had to have been standing right on the line <laughs> to have a shot at that one. Slicing away from him. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if Revard's looking at that gap in right center field. Yeah. It's there. Well, slices up the right field line. Drops uh, foul. Yeah. Yeah. Good piece of hitting yeah. trying to go to the opposite field. If that would have dropped uh, in fair territory, we'd have had two runs scored easily. We were seeing earlier, Lance, from all this rain, the outfield seems pretty wet yeah. out there. Yeah. Ball Balls. is pretty dead. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to get much of a roll no, out there. Not going to happen. And it has rained. I was about ready to start on my arc the other day. <laughs> but I hear coming up after tomorrow, we're supposed to be into a stretch of real nice weather. Oh, it's going to be good. Jaws a walk. Base is loaded. So, James Montgomery up. And J James has been swinging a hot bat. He struck out his first time. But the last few games, he's been really swinging it well. See what we're going to do here. One out. Base is loaded. Good speed on all the bases. Center fielder really going over towards left. There's a huge gap out there now. Shot up the line. Foul. Should have worn my line pants to the game today, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled those out that I wore back in January, there you, you know? Go. I know, and I left the house this morning. I, that's why I grabbed my coat. I knew I had my sweatshirt, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab my coat anyway. There's a high pop-up back into the crowd. See if anybody wants to bare hand that. Now it's going to fall short. Ooh. Stuck in the mud. That one plugged. I don't know if they're going to find that one. Or Made it cleaner on that one. Yep, and the shovel to dig it out. Lake Region coach wants a timeout to go out and talk to his pitcher. Count at what, one and two? And yes. One out. And again, pitching for Lake Region is Shane Stevens. And again, Lake Region coming into this game 0-4 um, and, and the Hazen Wildcats 4-0. and zero. And there was a really, if I remember correctly, the, last year there was a really tight game up at Lake Region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was for, for uh, a few innings. We, we kind of pulled ahead a little bit late, but for, you know, the first three or four or five, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good ball game. We kind of got some scoring late. I remember going yes. up to that game. Yep. 
And the umpire goes out to break up the meeting. No pitch clock yet in this no. high school sports. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's done a lot for major leagues, I think. Games are much quicker this year. <sighs> they need to be. They need to be. Don't even get me started on how long those vaunted Red Sox Yankees <laughs> take. I mean, those, you, you better pack a lunch. <laughs> Throw down. Everybody stays. Uh, very nice job by the first baseman, keeping yeah, that in front of him. If it gets by one, maybe even two run score with Baker at second base. So. One and two, you count. Here's the pitch. High. Way high. So three I think and two. I think at times when he's missing high, his release point is I was a little say, bit too high that on that. Way high. I could see that from the moment it left his hand, and I don't even know baseball. <laughs> Pokes one down to short. Short bobbles it. Nothing happens. Who's it short? That would be uh, that would be Logan Curtis, who made a really nice play over so there early in the game. But he made a nice play to knock it down, but then couldn't quite get the handle on it quick. Run scores and bases remain loaded here. Bottom of the second. Two one, your score now. Lyle Still Rooney just one out. Lyle Rooney up. Lyle probably hit as Hazen's best hit ball of the day. Line drive hit to left field. His their hardest hit ball. And good opportunity for Rooney to help his own cause, knock some exactly. runs in here. Exactly, yep. The senior. Give himself a little bit of breathing room. Checking at Baker on third base. I would be very surprised to see a steal of home here, but. <laughs> I saw one once on TV. <laughs> on TV, once. You know, I saw one. Remember the Vermont Reds in Burlington? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, my dad used to bring me to those games. It was one of my favorite things. And got to see a steal of home base once. Nice. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Rooney taking strike three. Didn't look like he was in love with that. No. <laughs> that was third strike call there. Now the mauler, Andrew Menard. Andrew pitched a no-hitter recently, I He saw. did, he did. He had Exciting. five innings, no hits, 13 nice. strikeouts. Wow. And he's playing great third base. He's knocking everything down and making plays. After some trouble, Steven seems to be yeah, really he digging looks in. Little, looks a little shaky there in the beginning, but he's kind of gotten his groove back now. This is a golden opportunity for Hazen with the bases loaded here to try to extend their lead. That one high. Good eye by Menard there. Two and one, your count. Bottom of the second, Cats up two, one. <laughs> Outside. Lance, I keep moving the clipboard on you. That's fine. I, That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make That's it good. tough, I guess. At least I can recognize most of our <laughs> players still, you know. There's a few out there that a few new few new faces, few new numbers. Ooh. Andrew ready to oh, wow. take his base. Fills the count. Three and two, two outs. Menard was ready to go. Let's see what Stevens has here. And 
And that one was outside. So Baker scoring, Menard to first base. And Jake Davison. Yes. Jake walked his first time up. So two outs now, base is still loaded. Revard is gonna come down. Score from third, rather runners advance up to second and third. Aggressive running, we see that. It's kind of the norm that we've norm, seen yeah. from the Hazen baseball team over the last two or three years. And Hazen is, they're pretty patient today. They, they're mm -hmm. willing to accept the walks and. Fouled back. Found a dry spot over there. That ball actually bounced. <laughs> I walked down there to get the lineup, so I'm a little squishy. A little squishy. It's a nice shot up to right. Right fielder misplays. I was I was coming in at kind of a tough angle. I'll give him it that. Is. It was a little low. He didn't quite get the jump he wanted. Menard scores, and uh, we got another runner that scored. Uh, that would probably be. I was looking at number, my paper. Number 17? 17, so that'd be James. James, Montgomery. okay, yep. So yeah, who had reached on right. an error earlier. So 6-1, Cats uh, open up here in the bottom of the second. Two out, runner on first. Jake hit that one well, went the other way with it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great hit, and like I said, the right fielder, I don't think quite got the jump he wanted, it came in, it was kind of tailing away on him, it was low. That was, that was a tough play, tough play. Did good to keep it in front of him. He did. But a nice piece of hitting as well. Right. And a 1-1 one, one count here with Jake Hayden at the plate. And good hustle by Davison down yep, to second base. Second base. And Steven seems to have kind of gone back the other yeah. way. We thought he'd found it. Now he's kind of lost yep. it again. Yeah, he's thrown a lot of pitches this yeah, inning. Yeah, I think he's just looking to just get this inning over with and get back into the dugout, you know. There's that win, Lance. Yep, I can. That one's going to go back. This is on. Yeah. No, almost got one. Yep. He was on that one, fouling yeah. it straight back. Yeah, I'm looking up there, Mike. I, don't, I think we I think we need to be a little concerned here. <laughs> Might be kicking up, huh? Yeah. And count on Hayden goes to three and two. I mean, the other thing you realize now, it's coming up on five o'clock. I'm going to miss Alice Kang tonight. <laughs> Your favorite? Uh, no, Lauren Granada is my favorite, but Alice <laughs> is a close second. There's a nice foul ball off. Yeah. Good swing by Hayden, just a little ahead of it. I mean, it's the in-depth in reporting and, and, and everything that I that is very, very good about what they do. You know, that's what I, that's what I watch it for. I'm just there for the stories. Swing and a miss. And that will end the second inning. The Cats put, uh, what, five runs five, on there. Five runs. To open up the score to 6-1 at the end of two here from Hudson Fields. It is your Hazen Union Wildcats taking on the Lake Region Rangers. Sponsors today, uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Mike Baker with the call. Lance Hall doing just, you know, standing around here talking. <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> having fun. <laughs> We're, We're having, having fun. a good time. We <laughs> always do. We always do. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> I never really got to uh, to follow up with you either back in, in March, but, I mean, granted, it didn't end the way we wanted, but what a basketball season. Oh, we had. man. So proud of our kids. Uh, yeah, I agree. You know, the, the way they played, but also the way they conducted themselves. Yes, yes. The way um, they handled themselves was first class. They are. They 
definitely made our community proud in so many ways. Yep. Yep. That's where that whole saying of regardless of what it's the scoreboard says, we're winners. Right. You know? Right. They've just a great bunch of kids and great season. A fabulous season. Anytime you make it to the odd at all, it's a great yeah. season. And to make it to the finals and yeah, two years in a row, yeah, you know, and win a championship and yeah, and it was so nice to have everybody back at full capacity. We could have full gyms, you know. Uh, and we didn't have to wear masks. We didn't have to social distance. You know, we didn't have to worry about all this stuff. It was, you know, normal. Oh, definitely. All right, John. We have Johnny Piers up who's their center fielder, and he actually blooped a double down the right field line, used his wheels, and got to second base. Looks like he's fast just standing there. Yeah, yeah. Big swing on that one. And... Foul ball. Yeah. A little bit goes out ahead of that. Goes to 0-2. And, and Rooney hoping to get off to a good start here. That's all right on an 0-2 pitch, yeah. Lance. Yep. Exactly. Nothing more frustrating, I think, for a pitcher is to groove on 0-2 and... Have a guy <laughs> drill one. <laughs> Indeed. Just when you think you know you got what you want. And it strikes him out. Ooh. And uh, Lake Region coach letting him know. Letting the ump know. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's hard to tell from up here. It, it, is. I mean, it looked maybe a little low. I can, you know, is. we're kind of standing up here on a hill behind the plate. And, and I think their coach was, uh, you know, saying that that pitch hadn't been called a strike. Right. And it was on that one, good, but we'll take it. Rooney's yeah. doing a great job out there. And Shane Stevens up. Shane belted a double to right field his first time and uh, has an RBI, drove in Lake Region's run. So we can pitch and hit. You can. Nice down, ball down to third. Menard up. Ball goes by the first baseman. Stevens going to go to two. So Stevens helping his own cause, tr tr attempting to help his own cause here. His second time reaching base. Menard came up and it looked like a pretty good throw, Lance. I'm not sure. Hard to tell from here, but. Who do we have on first over there? Is it Jake? Is that Jake, Jake Davison. Okay. Yeah. And we have Gabe Gardner up who's catching and he hit a high pop up to Revard at shortstop the last time. Big swing on that one. And Strike two, Montgomery keeps it in front of him. Stevens right. decides not to. Not with James back there. James is always solid back yeah. there behind the plate. Yeah. Not much gets by him and he has no. a gun. Now, if I remember right, Robbie made Twin State, right? His senior oh, year? Oh, did he? I believe he did. He, I believe he did. Oh, I knew he was a good athlete. Yeah. Heck of a baseball player. If I'm remembering the picture in the yearbook correctly. <laughs> I don't know. I was a people's guy. Right, I didn't yeah, see those Hazen right. yearbooks yeah. back then. So. No, I believe he made Twin State. Hi. Two and two, one out. Top of the third. Ball low. Stevens is gonna go down to first, third on that one. Yeah. Not much James could do about that one. He nope. made a good effort.
They're sending think a runner back to second. Do well, we have a pass so, ball? So I think they're calling, saying that that hit, hit the batter. Okay. So they're sending the runner who went okay. to third back to second base right. on the dead ball. That makes sense. I tell you, with, with baseball, I feel it's my... I feel it's my worst sport. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> and Jonathan a, Gilchrist with a high fly ball to right field. Runner advances after tagging up. So runners at the corners. Nice catch out there. And that was actually Owen Scorstad. Okay. He's now right. out in right field. So it looks like he and Jake Hayden flip flopped. Jake's out in left field and scores that out in right. So nice catch. That was a good catch. Yeah, that ball was a rocket. And Johnny Pierce back up and he doubled and struck out on the day. Lake Region trying to get one in here with two outs. Runner goes. Montgomery up. Throw. Revard not going to be able to handle that one. Runner in at second. Stolen base. And we have second and third for Lake Region here with two, two outs. outs. If Pierre is looking to drop a hit in here that could possibly score two. And good pitch from Rooney. And uh, Owen two count here. This is going to be a tough up. play for Rivard. He charges, throws. Good play by yep. Rivard. He had to avoid. Almost ran the, into the runner. Had to avoid the runner. Had to charge it in the wet grass. Very nice play. So we go to the bottom of the third. No run scored. Cats up 6-1. And we're back here um, at Hudson Field with the Wildcats leading 6-1. to one. That breeze kicking up. Yep. I'm expecting snow flurries. Oh, man, it's bad. You know, bad. Lance, Lance, the first game I did with you last year, I think you called 9-1-1 <laughs> by mistake. I so, did. I did. So I'm... it's never... Now we're dull here. I meant to ask you if you dialed 911. You, and later on, <laughs> in the I year, may have you made that mistake. <laughs> well, I have the phone by my side today. If I dial 911 today. <laughs> and we yeah, have. That's hilarious. Oh, and here is Owen Scorstad. And of course, Owen making that good catch out in right field. And he's yep. ripped a double today. So he's having a great day at the plate and in the field. Starts off with the ball. Yeah, I'm trying to explain to the 911 operator that I don't need any assistance. So. <laughs> uh, there's a nice. That's going to be trouble. Gonna go through. Score stead to first, easy. Start off. He's having a day. Uh, bottom of the third with a, with a hit. Yeah, he is. Double, single, great catch in right field. And here comes Brendan Moody. Brendan had a beautiful bunt, sacrifice bunt the first time up. Yeah. Advance the runners. That's kind of got everything started there. It did. The last inning. Swings away. Wow. Shot out to left. Score said to second. Moody at first. Pitch looked a little high, and he almost reached up, kind of swatted it, you know? And it looks like, Lance, we might have missed this. Yeah, new pitcher? Uh, yeah, Carlos Martinez, it looks like. Okay. Baker steps in, who has grounded to short, and... And uh, last at bat walked. Runners at first and second. No outs. I got to put my coat on yeah. here now. Another square. layer. I'm about to put my hood up. <laughs> square. He was looking to square up to bunt. Let's see if he shows it again. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful bunt. To make a throw. Ooh. They rung him up. Wow. Wow. Lance, I got to be professional here and not give my opinion of the. Uh, I mean, the ump was standing right there. Wow. But it must have been close. Wow. 
Very good. I mean, who's, who's stand? Is that Spencer or, or uh, Joe? I don't know. There? The both Spencer and both Joe and Opie on that side were very yeah. surprised at the call. Well, good hustle. He got the runners second, and third. So. Yeah, that was that was a super, superb bunt. And a good play by the pitcher there. Even yeah, to make the, to go up there and grab it and make that throw. Yeah, down. whether the call was, you know, right, right or not, he he was a great play by the pitcher. Reaver are discussing something with the home plate umpire now. Now Tyler spent his entire summer last year playing baseball. He all did. Place, didn't he? I remember he seeing did. the pictures that Sue put up. Played on a travel team. He was everywhere. Plays baseball all summer, comes back, starting goalie for yes. <laughs> soccer, goes into uh, basketball, 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds. Yeah, good, a great athlete, that's for yeah. sure. And those guys can play golf now, too. I was going to so, say, does he golf? <laughs> yeah, so Tyler and Jaden, four sport athletes. They played wow. all four of them, so. That's awesome. Kept them busy. Big rip by Tyler there. It's almost, uh, almost stayed fair. So we got what, one out, two on. Runners at second and third. One and two the count. And two on here Martinez for Tyler. In, yeah. Martinez delivers. Chopper through, that's gonna score at least one. Oh, the center, oh. Tyler's going in for two. Left fielder kind of bobbled the ball. I think uh, we could have scored another run on that. If, uh, this Is this Joe down here? Or no, it's Spencer. Spencer, yeah. Spencer held him up, and then the left fielder bobbled it, and he had a pretty good turn going. But I don't think Spencer saw the left fielder bobble. No, oh, and they were, weren't aware of Tyler kind of sneaking into second the right. back way. Good heads up base running from Tyler. Yep. And Montgomery up. So one out, Cats up 7-1. And James has struck out and reached on an error his first time. James also a senior, really senior laden team here. Yeah. Yep, these guys have played well the last number of years. Really brought Hayes and baseball back. They have. Rebard way out. I mean, for a while this program was, you know, you know, they had some combined teams, didn't they, yeah. where they were playing at Danville or, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff, which is okay. Right. But it, it's nice to see them have their – have, um, have a full team out here. Full team, know. yeah. State fair. Everybody getting waved in. Here comes the throw. And, and James good is in his in. second. Wow. Nice piece of throw, hitting by throw James. Was a, throw in was a little high. Catcher caught it. Tyler had snuck in. And you see him just kind of reach up and tap the plate. And we have Rooney up. Nice, nice job by so Montgomery. 9-1 your score. Lake Region coach goes out to chat. So if I remember right, looking at the schedule, we have games Monday and Tuesday at home next week. Yeah, you know, I think so. It's a busy, we've got a busy few busy weeks here. Up, yeah. yeah. Which those games I'll be able to make. Uh, the Saturday games are the, are the ones that where I'm working. So, but, yeah. uh, but hey, thank you for filling in and everything. Well, Not so much filling in. You're the baseball guy. Uh, I don't know You're about that. You're the baseball that, guy. I don't know about that. But it's been fun. Yeah. A little bit. challenge of it is when your kids playing yes you know yes. that makes it challenging i agree i agree you you want to stay impartial and you know and looks like we have a new pitcher here i can't quite see his number be number one i believe so that would be 
Bryce McCormick, who was previously playing second base for them. And bottom of the third inning, as we talked about, 9-1 score. Hazen's had several games this year. They're run by the one with a 10-run rule, 10-run lead okay. after five innings. Okay. So uh, we'll see how yeah, that all plays I think out. I saw a Northfield game. What was 10 zip or something? Yeah, Northfield and Williamstown. Yeah. They had a great game against Peoples. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's that right. That was good. That was good uh, to down in down in Morrisville. In Morrisville, yeah. 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 That was good to get that one after mm -hmm. that losing to them in the finals. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a tough loss. But I tell you, I was at that game and I, we. <sighs> To, to my mind and my eye, I'll throw this out, and, my, and in my opinion, we almost seemed out of that game right from the start, really. Yeah, their, you know? their pitcher. Their pitcher yeah, was phenomenal. He's great. Ben's, ben Allison's great. Yeah. And, of course, PA playing in Division Two this year for baseball. Um, mm. Like last year, they're combined with Stowe. Right. Um, last year they were um, still in Division Three, but this year they're in Division Two as a combined team, which makes sense because they're two Division Three teams. Right. Um, combined, so Division Two seems like the right spot for them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was a bummer to have things end the, the way it did over there at Centennial. It was a fun game to go to, a fun place to go and yeah, you know, see a game and everything. But uh, and I was talking with Coach Spencer Howard today this morning, and he was telling me that one of their games, their Montpelier game, that was canceled or postponed the other day, has been rescheduled, and they, it's a seven o'clock game. Um, at uh, the field the Mountaineers play at. I'm okay, having yeah. a brain skip for a second. I can't yeah. believe I can't can't remember it. I've been there. So yeah, times, I know the field too. Yeah, yeah. And, it's it's headed out. Uh, well, Pierre, they're headed out towards almost up into like Worcester. Yeah, it's uh, a beautiful field. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Um, I'll probably remember it when I'm trying to sleep. I'm tonight. trying to think. Yeah, it'll come to you about two a.m. Can't be that we're getting old, Lance, is it? No, no. <laughs> Strike one. Changing pitchers now? It is. See what happens. And again, we have Rooney at bat. Nice curveball in there. And runner at second base here, Montgomery. And Lyle could be looking at that gap in right center field out there. One and two, you count. One out. Cats up 9-1. Why not let it fly, you know? Pulled up. Nice. Good eye. And Andrew Bernard on deck. And here's a 2-2 pitch. Rooney, as always, seems to have a good eye at the plate. Yeah. He hit a hard single to left field his first time up. There it goes, right into the gap. Yeah, right at that gap we were talking about. Right fielder comes over and makes a nice play, though. Kind Runner of tags up, goes to third. That ball kind of slicing back yep. towards the right fielder. Yep, made a nice play. Yeah, and a good catch out there. Still trying to think of the field where the Mountaineers play. I actually went down there last spring. I, I had an opportunity. I, I went down and toured and got to meet people. I got up into the press walk there. I was going to uh, be like a, a PA announcer oh, for yeah, a little yeah. bit. But my work schedule just sort of didn't make it happen. But I did go down and meet everybody. It's a, yeah, it's a great one. Menard right into the Andrew. gap as well. That one's going to roll way back. Menard's going to have at least two. He's going to hold up at two. And we got a 10-1 game here. Good hit by Menard. He crushed that one, Lance. He did. Hard shot out there. But I did. I went down and I got, I got to see the scripts and I went up into the box and we talked about everything. And But then uh, 
the way work lined up, I couldn't do it, and I, and it worked out well because we were busy last summer. Oh, I bet. Um, I I would have been toast by the time I got down there to Montpelier <laughs> trying to do those games, but uh, yeah. Jake Davison steps in after the hard hit double by Menard. Jake's been on base twice today. Two outs, bottom of third, cats up 10-1. Ball goes by, Andrew's gonna advance. Andrew's gonna score. Again, heads up base running by Hazen, being aggressive on the bases. Always prepared to run. And always prepared. Just what? like the king. <laughs> Have you seen the king at all lately? I heard the king is having, we should put a little shout out to the king. I heard he's still. He's 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 fighting it, but he's. Yeah, still under the weather a little bit. He's, he's a tough guy, so yeah. he's, he's gonna battle. He will, right to the very end. Uh, here it says Montpelier Recreational Field. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Is that the official name of it, I wonder? You know, I think it is. That's just a beautiful field. Yeah. I know Coach Howard was mentioning that that the guys are really excited when he, they heard that they were going to get to play down there. Yeah. Yeah, and under the lights at night, you know? Yeah, no, it's a great. That, that's that's a, you know, almost a once in a lifetime sort of deal. Good play by the shortstop. Nice throw, good dig out by the first baseman. And that'll end the third. Cats up 11-1 after three. And I have our sponsor sheets. Where'd I put it? It's in my back pocket. <laughs> uh, Lance Hall slipping and sliding through this game. <laughs> Mike Baker. Mike Baker carrying me. Kurt on camera. And you are watching Hazen Union Baseball, Varsity Baseball against the Lake Region Rangers today on uh, HCTV Channel 1080 and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Their sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. Uh, Got to be mowing the lawns here pretty quick, so go down and check them out for your lawnmower needs. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Can't say enough about the tech center down there and everything. Like I said, Liddy went down, and uh, it's really centered her and grounded her and, and given her a future. Oh, it's a great place. You hear yeah. so many success stories mm -hmm. about coming out of it. Kids that have gone there, students that have gone there. Yep. And Rooney back on the mound here. So we move to the fourth. Cats had tacked on, uh, what, five more runs? Five more. To make it 11-1. And Jaden Shawkat up. He's playing right field, who struck out his first time. Shawkat digs in, Rooney's ready. Big swing. swing, big swing. Swinging for the fences, what the heck. You're down 10 <laughs> runs, you might as well let her rip. Might as well. <laughs> Ball low and inside. I think we got a little bit of crowd of Lake Region fans come down. We do. They're always supportive of yeah. their athletic programs. Definitely had some good battles with them in yeah. soccer, basketball, baseball over the years. Yeah. Beautiful school, beautiful facilities, great people. And Rooney with a strikeout. Short order on that one.
and I've gotten to know, you know, up there at CNC where I work, I've gotten to know a lot of the kids that go to Lake Region, and you know, I'm sure a lot of the parents shop and everything. It's just great yeah. people. Oh, nice that's, people. That's awesome. A number of the kids work at the store. Whoa, Kurt, Kurt, you okay? Kurt, Mr. Stool, you okay, Kurt? All right. Can you sure? You want me to dial 911? <laughs> I know how to. <laughs> okay. Kurt taking a tumble over here. Don't miss the stool, Kurt. And. Oh. Oh. Ha. <laughs> huh. They called them so that one called safe. Called that one safe. <laughs> well, once I again, the know. umpire right there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I've got. <laughs> anyways, we have a good job by um, Griffin hustling out on that one, and Bryce McCormick now in, who walked his last time, and he's now pitching. All right. Well, you know what? Let's turn a double play now and just, you know. <laughs> uh. And <laughs> some action over there. Yeah. Chasing after that uh, foul tip, we'll call it. And Slicer <laughs> up into the crowd. Nice move by Lyle. Wow. Let's go over to first. And so what do we got? 0-2, oh one out, top of the fourth. One. There goes the runner. Pitched a good pitch, picked a good pitch to go on there. Yes, he did. So runner advances to second. One and two, your count. Don't let that thing get away from you, Kurt. Ball out. Uh, Montgomery trying to throw behind the runner. Good job by Rivard knocking it down. Yep, I'm going for the hood. Yeah, boy, that that wind. Just enough. These headsets know. are keeping my ears yeah, warm now. I like earmuffs. <laughs> going back to Rivard again. Again, good job keeping it in front of him. James with a good arm, catching, trying to throw behind the runner and catch him sleeping over there, but a good job by the runner getting back. So two and two, one out, top of the fourth. And Rangers looking to get something going here. Chopper, foul. Okay, gotcha. Inside. Full count, three and two, one out. Runner at second for the Rangers. Down low, draws a walk. So runners at first and second. I heard the name Carlos. Carlos Martinez. Okay. And he. Okay. And Carlos Martinez steps in. Went over to get some instructions. And he hit a hard fly ball to right field to score stat who made a nice catch earlier. Mm -hmm. And two runners now on for Lake Region. He squares the bunt. Nice bunt, knocks it down, beautiful. Rooney goes to first. They do call him out on that one. <laughs> so we do get the out at first, <laughs> which has been a tough out. <laughs> and a good play by Rooney there. Yeah. And 
and Pierce steps in, who is doubled and struck out. So runners at second and third with two outs here yeah. in the top of the fourth. Lake Region hoping for the big hit here to bring two across. One and one, you count. There's a shot right to the gap. That's going to score one. Going to score two. So they cut into the lead a little bit. Gap shot that kind of yeah. stuck in the ground mm -hmm. out there. Nice hit. Second double of the day for Pierce. Uh, he's back at first. Oh, I just guess I wasn't paying attention. I thought, it, I thought he went to second. I, I thought he, I saw him go to second, too. Must have taken a big turn. and Yeah, kind of swung around back. I thought I saw him out at second as well. Oh, second hit of the day for him. Stevens, who's doubled and has an RBI on, today, on the day and also reached on an error earlier, so he's been on base twice. And Lake Region... Cutting the lead to 11 to three. Runner goes. One and two you count, two outs. Rooney letting the, look at that. End this inning quick. High shot up and nobody's gonna get that one. I think James would have if it wasn't for the out of play. Yeah. yeah. Out of play line. I think he would have had that one, but. Again, Stevens looking to drive Piers in like he did earlier in the game. There he goes. That one high. And James not happy with himself. No. I think even a good throw, that would have been tough for yeah. James. The runner had a great yeah. jump, great Big jump. Time jump. So 11-4 now. Rangers with a two out rally here. Counts it two and two. Top of the fourth. We put three runs on so far. And struck him out for to end the inning but not before the Rangers put three runs on to cut the lead to seven here at Hudson Fields. All right, leading off for Hazen is Jake Hayden. Jake is out in left field now. Move to the bottom of the fourth. Call strike. Trying to move my papers here, Lance, but my hands are not working, you know? No, yeah. Got that kind of frozen, numb feeling. <laughs> this, would be a, this would be a great day if it was like, you know, October. It would be. Beautiful November day. Uh, yeah. First day of hunting season or something. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if we get that warmth and that sun they're talking next week, I mean, everything, you look over here on the mountain, everything's yeah. set to explode. It is. It's going to be beautiful. We'll be standing up here next week and it's going to be all green over there, you know. It's going to be beautiful. Drop that one in, nice. And the boys, of course, going to Lamoille Saturday morning to play. Yeah. Tough curveball there. Mm -hmm. And Owens scores that up. Owens having a day. Yes, yes, he has. He's all over the place out here. Ball up. <laughs> She wants out. A 
oh and two. The count, one out, bottom of the fourth. There's a poke out towards right. Right fielder coming in, ball drops, runner on for the Cats. Third time on base for Scorestad here. And here's Moody and he's done, I know he had the bunt and it's... He single to left. Right. Yeah, that's right, he swatted at that ball, had a nice hit. So we'll see what happens here. Solid shots right to the shortstop. Turn. Rung him up, gave him the double play. <laughs> the Good. umpire's standing right there, Mike. <laughs> Good job. I didn't say anything. That was a great turn great by turn, Lake yeah. Region, by the way. That was yeah. That was so well done by them. Uh, I mean, that was Opie out. Is Opie out? No, he's just dropping balls off, yeah. I guess. Okay. You don't see many something. double plays like that. No. Lake Region did a great that job was textbook. turning that. Textbook, double play. Shot, I mean, the hit was straight to, you know, uh, the second baseman and uh, was able to get down, make the field the ball and turn and make a great throw over to first. It was right on a rope to first. And to double up Scorestad and Moody, two yeah. guys with speed. Two guys that was, fly. That was a yeah. great play by Lake Region. So we'll move to the fifth inning now. The Cats up seven. And I still have Lyle Rooney on the mound. Lyle pitching well today. He is, he's been solid, as usual for yeah. Lyle. Yeah. Just had to put my gloves on, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, Spencer talking to the boys a little bit after that last inning, you know, where Lake Region put on those three runs, you know, just telling them, forget about it, you know, let's go out, just keep playing and put it behind you. Yeah. yeah. He's a really well-coached baseball team. Spencer does a great job, and of yep. course, Joe, Joe and Opie. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't want better assistance than that, exactly. so. No baseball and good guys. Mm -hmm. Know the kids well. I almost remember Spencer booking me for a dance or two back in the day when he was in school. Now we're going way back. <laughs> and Gabe Gardner now up. Gabe was hit by a pitch the last time. Oh, that's right. That was on the play there where we were wondering what yeah. all was happening with yep. the runner going back to second. Swing and a miss. Gardner, a big, strong catcher here. Hit a high pop up to shortstop his first time up. Long that was ball. well hit. Oh, yeah. Got a little ahead of it. Makes it count one and two. Top of the fifth. James keeping that one in front of him. There's a hit. Ripped. Is that Andrew out and left again? Looks like it's Jake Hayden out there. Okay. Gets it in quickly, holds him to two. That ball was hit hard. Yeah. When the when the Rangers have hit, they've hit today. Brings up Johnny Gilchrist. And Hit here, could bring in a run for Lake Region and cut that lead. Rooney's ready and pitches. There's a big hit. Another one crushed into the gap. 
going to score a run. Good hustle by Jaden, the relay. Good try by Tyler. Good job by Montgomery. Another one that was hit really yeah. hard, Lance. Yeah, that ball was traveling. I just kept going and going and going. Eleven five, your score. They've cut that lead. And Curtis up. There, shortstop. Two hard hit balls by Lake Region. Right off to start this inning. So no outs, top of the fifth. Lake Region really showing some second. fight here, yeah. you know, getting behind 11 yeah. to one. They've yeah, come back with four. Just, you know. Foul ball. Lake Region starting to get some better swings here mm -hmm. against Rooney. Two and one, you count. Uh, beautiful curve ball by Rooney on that one. Makes it two and two. That went low, runner goes to third. So runner advances to third, no outs, counts three and two. What do you do, you swing away or you take? Well, I think three, two here. Just anything in near the zone you gotta take a swing at. And they did. And a good Good pitch by Lyle. Yep. And Jaden Shawkat now at the plate. So runner at third, one out. Top of the fifth. Shawkat at the plate. Ball one. Rangers have come back after being down 11-1 to make it 11-5. And the Cats went down 1-2-3 last inning, correct? Well, on that, with that double play, yeah, yeah, only three of them batted. Right, yep. That's right, they had the double play to end. Some tough guys down there playing in their sh shirt sleeves, you know, or just a little sweatshirt on under their Tougher than uniform. Me. Yeah. It's that another hard hit crushed. ball. Good hustle by Hayden, but that was deep. I think we got to start moving our guys back. I think so. And six. And Coach Spencer Howard out to the mound. Talk things over a little bit. Lyle's kind of holding the ball out. Look like he's going to be done for the day. Started out real good, but he's been rocked this inning. And last, but particularly this inning. Looks like they're going to go to Brendan Moody.
I am Vanessa. Vanessa Fournier, longtime photographer for the Harvard Gazette, passing us by. Give me an opportunity to uh, read our sponsors here. You're watching Hazen Union University Baseball on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming a worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst.org. Jump, start your future. And... Uh, Got a pitching change coming here for Hazen. Well, Lyle giving way to Brendan Moody. Brendan's pitched a couple times this year. He's been pretty solid. I was going to ask if you'd seen him pitch. Yeah, he has. He's come coming in relief a couple games. He throws strikes. That's um, what we need right now. And stepping in is Cameron Griffin. So one out, top of the fifth. Griffin was doubled earlier in the game. Scores up the bunt, that one into the crowd. That one in, one and one. Runner still at second. Almost forgot about him out there. Trying to get the double play. Did they? Did the umpire make a, there's the call. There's the call. Coach. Great, great catch by James throwing down to second base. There was a delayed call. Yeah, did he second not base. Get the base. So yeah, I mean he took that. He took a lot of time. Late, now is that the same umpire that's been calling? I think that outs one, over at first as well. I think so. Um, yeah, it is. I'm pretty positive. Lake Region umpire out to or um, coach, coach out to, to discuss it. It's a great. Great catch by yeah. James. Yeah, great hustle to get out there and then to have the presence to throw back, you know. No, that was a great and, play. Uh, catch the runner going back, uh, apparently. The umpire was right there, Mike. So we moved yeah, to the bottom of the fifth. It might have been our angle, too, that we yeah. couldn't see the, see see the yeah. out, out call made. Yep. I saw him kind of stand there, and everybody kind of stood for a second. And then I see him. You know, give the out signal. I was looking. I thought the runner had, had made it back. Uh, it was a strange call. Yeah, it was just that kind of delay that was yeah. confusing trying mm -hmm. and. So. So Hazen looking to open it back up a little bit here. Only up by five now in the bottom of the fifth inning. Same pitcher for Lake Region, number one. It is, yep. It's Bryce McCormick. Pitched well. Pitched well in the last. He, he did. He did a nice job. You know, getting getting through that inning without giving up any runs. He did a nice job. Top of Hazen line. Hazen's lineup coming up with. Baker, Revard, and Montgomery do up. Right. Let's see if there's an opportunity to put some runs on the board. This is going to be it. Yeah. 
Baker digs in. Cormick ready. Ball called. That one inside, ball two. Outside. So They're kind of to, all over the place. Have here. to wonder if outside, outside, yeah, low. wonder if he'll have the green light on this or not. If uh. there's one he likes, we'll see. Square to bun on that, and taken for a strike. Swings away on that one. Shortstop. Great play. Get a short is good. He's made good plays. Yeah, he's. Uh, so grounder to short and revert up. T Rex. Ready to tee off here. Big, strong kid. Mm -hmm. Nice curve ball there. Beautiful pitch. That Tyler looking. There's a shot. Uh, yeah. He's going to go two. He's going to go three. He may send him with that throw so far They're off line. Send him home. Revard, home run. T Rex. That one ripped. High yeah. towering shot. Hazen with a run on the board. That ball just traveled forever. It did. It did. Hi, I mean, I'm watching it just going and going and going. I mean, I had a vapor trail behind <laughs> I mean, I was thinking it was hit high, but it was hit hard. It was. It traveled. Beautiful shot. Oh, he crushed that Took his that time, one. waited on it, you know? Yeah, he crushed that. Montgomery up, who doubled his last time. Kind of in on the hands. Yeah. And a good play by the third baseman over there. Two outs. Yeah, he kind of jammed him. Is that the proper terminology? That is. Jammed you got him. it. Rooney up. Lyle is one for three on the day, I think. Had a solid hit his first time at bat. Skips down in the dirt, ball. Uh, Base is wide open, of course. And Rooney looking to start another rally here. A little two out rally. High and outside. Three and oh. And Rooney ahead in the count. Again, we'll see if he has a three a uh, green light on the three oh count here. And Rooney Take drawing a walk. Comes Menard. Menard last time hit one hard too, didn't he? He I did, believe. yeah. He doubled his last time. And he's I think Menard's reached base all three times today with a single walk and a double. So good good game for Andrew.
My guess is Menar or, um, Rooney's going to look to be aggressive on this. Mm -hmm. Try to get in scoring position for Andrew. Really good speed on first with, base with Lyle. And with the way Andrew can hit. Yep, mm -hmm. I agree. And there he goes. Yep. Pitch high. Rooney goes in standing up. And one in scoring position for Menard here. Now, I'll ask a, a foolish question, what I consider to be a foolish question, because I just I don't know. Is that considered now a stolen base or a passed ball or like you know like a wild pitch type yeah, thing? That's How a, do they score that? That's a tough one, Lance, because he was on the run anyways. So I think potentially with these professional teams and their official scorers would have to make a judgment right. call on that. Right. But he had a jump that he he would have stole it, but yeah. like you said, the pitch was wild anyway. So pitch went high, you know, over the catcher's head. There's also stuff like you may not be able to with baseball scoring that you may not be able to assume that he would be safe on that and, mm. and not give him the stole, stolen base. Right. So right, you know, perfect pitch down for a perfect throw out. Right, you know, does he right. get caught? You know? Right. All right, Menard looking to drive him in here. Three one, your count, two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Menard's gonna take a base. So runners at first and second. Jake Davison. And Lake Region coach wants a timeout. Go on and talk to his pitcher. I don't know. The, the umpire behind the plate seems fairly consistent today. The tall guy over here towards, you know, left is, we haven't really seen him do much of anything. With him. Well, he hasn't had to make too many yeah, cl calls guy, over there. The guy at first, well, I'm not going to put on a jacket and go down there and umpire. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> let's just say he's been interesting. <laughs> he's been interesting <laughs> to watch. <laughs> I'll be as diplomatic as I can. <laughs> He's made some interesting calls. Yeah. I, I'd like to, you know, intriguing. I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see some video evidence as to some of the <laughs> calls that he has made. Be interesting to see that. But still, when you're down there and it's bang, bang like that, you know, and, and everything going on, it, you've got a split second to make the call. And I realize, you know, there are umpires and everything, and they're trained and know how to do it and all, but we're also human. It is hard, and I've done little league games before. Yeah, those yeah. bang bang plays are yeah. like close. Yeah. They're so they're hard to and make the right call. And that's a little league call. level, you know. Right. Now you're out here at varsity. Can you imagine the pros? Right. You know? No, you couldn't pay me enough to do it. No, well, they haven't picked off. Rooney yeah. picked off. We'll see if Lake Region can execute here. And they call him safe. Apparently, getting under the tag. And a Lake Region coach. <laughs> Can't believe it. And speaking of, the disgust. Tall, speaking of the tall guy here and left, who haven't seen anything, <laughs> now makes a call that intrigues us. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe yeah. he snuck it in there. I don't know. I think the throw definitely beat him, but it could have been a good slide by Rooney to, to get, get underneath the tag. Yeah. yeah. Either way. And Rooney quickly back on that one. <laughs> I don't think we'll see Lyle straight too far. <laughs> I mean, it was still a two outs, you know, so. Up six. Uh, nice play by the third baseman over there to yeah, knock that down. down. Yep. So runners at second and third now, two outs, Jacob. Count is at uh, one and zero. Oh. So a little bit of room here to still get a hit. Davison slices that one foul. Uh, good swing by Jake, just ahead of it. Man, did you see that ball hit out there? <laughs> Man, it is wet out there. Just it is wet. <laughs> Looked like a golf shot, you know. It did. It did. That's what Ivan was saying earlier. It looked like a pitching wedge yeah. hitting the ground and sticking. 
Strike two. Swing by Jake. One and two. Again, two, two runners in scoring position for Jake, looking to drive them in here to try to extend Hazen's lead. That went high and behind him almost. And two and two. Low and, low. and good eye by Jake. Good good play by the catcher there. Keeping it in front of him. Three and two. Hi. Hi. Pop One of up. these are easy with a win. Nice yeah. play out there. Good that was play. a shortstop that went over and made the play, right? He did. He did. Yeah. Second baseman kind of looking at him yeah. like, oh. Yeah, no, three guys out there converging, but shortstop had the height. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we will go to the sixth inning now with the Cats up 12-6. Put one run on the board courtesy of Tyler's home run. But uh, Lake Region battling. They have shown some good fight. Yep. All right, but what do we got? Top of the six, correct? Yeah, I think, the, the top of the I think the scoreboard's are on. And Bryce McCormick. I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice to jump it ahead one and have it be the seventh, but. <laughs> totally missing my Alice Kang time tonight. <laughs> That's okay. You know the other guy who kills me on there is uh, the weather guy there, Tyler Jankowski. Yeah, yeah he's got that big pompadour hairdo. <laughs> I mean, great guy. I'm, I'm not picking on him. I'm not picking on him. He, he sort of reminds me of the uh, lead singer of Theory of a Dead Man. <laughs> yeah, we have a two O count here. And McCormick looking to get on base to start things off for Lake Region. We yeah. get a second here, though. I'll tell you one of the funniest Gary Sadowski stories <laughs> that I can remember. I would love to meet this guy so I could tell him this memory I have of him to see if he remembers doing it. And first out underway. This was probably 20 years ago when, when Gary was first on. I think he had dark hair back then. <laughs> It was in the winter time, and he had ice over like the state of Maine, and he had a low coming across like in Vermont. <laughs> right? He says we got this low coming in, we got ice here. He says, "Look at this! You put the L and the ice together, you get lice." Who says Heather? <laughs> who says weather can't be fun? Har, 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 like that. Uh, <laughs> that was just like oh, man. he's definitely a character. Does oh, he, yeah. Is he still? He's still on. Still on. Yeah, he's on early morning. Yeah, with uh, um, oh lord, good good Who swing by Martinez. I'm trying to remember their names now. That the, the uh, uh, God, my mind's so, just so blank today. <laughs> Long day. Uh, it has been. It's been a long day. You know, I've been up since about five. So, no, it wasn't Darren Perrin. It's uh, there's 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 the girl and the guy on a, on a on a Channel Three early news uh, in the morning there. Uh, yeah, I, <sighs> I can see kick. her face. <laughs> Tall girl with the dark hair, and then the other guy with the brown hair with the mustache. Um, 3-1 count here to Martinez. As we critique the, our, our local <laughs> news channels here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to kind of listen to Roger Hill on the way to work. Kind Roger of guy, Hill you is know? stellar. Yeah, when Six, I was, 640 on the way yeah. to work. I'll have the radio on listening yeah. to Roger. Yeah, when I was on the uh, when I was on the road for Farrell, Roger Hill was a must listen. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, my old friend Roland LaJoy down on LVP. Oh, yes. You know? Johnny peers in. And Johnny's had a good day. Two doubles with a strikeout in between them. But 
Any day you have two doubles, that's a that's a good day. The guy's name for Channel Three in the morning is Don Amato, or Dom is it oh, Dom or Dom Amato? Yes. I've... And the girl, I can't believe, I can't remember her name. Runner goes to third. No, runner's coming back. He, that ball narrowly was missed being fair. That ball, it was just hit down the line. Alexandra Montgomery is the girl in the morning. Alexandra Montgomery and Donna Mont Tom Amato for the Channel 3 News. Okay. Wheels are turning, Lance. Yeah. Man, I knew, you, I you knew I'd get him. I knew I'd get him. <laughs> Ooh, good looking pitch by Moody, just missing. Hi, hey, pop up. Pop up back here is going nowhere. And of course, Channel 5 answers back with Zuri Hoffman and. Well, she was on there. Sarah Beth Ackerman was on, but I believe she had a baby. <laughs> so my girl, Lauren Granada, has been doing the Channel 5 Early News with the weather guy that's really, really good, Ben Frechette. I love Ben Frechette. Great guy. Just a great guy. Always smiling, always happy. Um, really optimistic. And Two foul balls in the same place there. I... Maybe I should watch the news sometime, Lance. You should. You're, you're, you should. You're, <laughs> great, great reporting on both stations. But yeah, yeah. yeah Gary still does. <laughs> Gary does the early morning weather on Channel Three. Good attempt at the curveball there by Moody. And three play. and two, your count, one out. Again, peers at the bat with a runner at first base. That one's coming. Boy, he's putting a good at bat together here, yeah. really battling, really battling. I remember watching Pete Rose when I'd foul off like, you know, 37 pitches. Oh, it's amazing how those guys can control the bat. Uh, he, ended up, he ended up getting a hit out of it. Yeah, you know, spoiling pitches they didn't like. Hazen, good play by Menard. Oh! How was that <laughs> not an out? <laughs> good Mike, play. was the umpire right there? <laughs> he was, I don't... <laughs> good play by Menard. That's... Um, I mean, you don't see anybody really arguing, though, I guess. So they must be, you know, they must be getting them right, or they're just, I don't know. Far be it for me. And first and second base for Shane Stevens. One out, top of the six. There's a hit. There's a hit into the to gap the, there. Are they going to get over and get it? Nice catch. Is that Scorstead still in right? That uh, looks like that was Jake Hayden. They Jake switched Hayden? back. So good, pit, good yeah. catch by Jake nice catch out by there. Jake. That was big because yeah. if that drops in, they're going to run for a while. And that ball was kind of tailing a little bit. So two out now. Yep. Runner still at first and second. And Gabe Gardner up, who doubled last time. And I tell you, you want to talk sports, guys. I don't know if you're old enough to remember these guys, Mike. I, I got to remember that I'm <laughs> older than you. <laughs> Back in the day. Would this have been 80s? This might have even been in the 80s. CNN used to run a half-hour sports wrap-up at 11 o'clock at night, and I watched it religiously. It was a half-hour, concise, gave highlights, talked about stuff. Swing and a miss. And the two guys that did it were Nick Charles and Fred Hickman, and they were Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I can't say that I've. I believe seen Nick that. Charles has passed on. I, I believe he came down with cancer a number of years ago, okay. and has, has since passed. I don't know wow. about Fred Hickman. But wow, yeah, Lance, wow. that was crushed. It was yeah. foul, but wow. 
almost over to the road. <laughs> wow. Uh, those two guys did a great half-hour sportscast on, on CNN each night. I think this this, this might have been pre I don't think it was pre-ESPN. Yeah, I can't say I ever saw that. They were good. Really, really good. I pop up. This could be catchable for Menard. Now it goes out of play. And again, that's one Menard would have caught if it wasn't yeah. for the out of play line over there. Had the Lake Region fans scattering. Ball stuck right in the ground, too. It did. So Andrew had to, thought he was going to have to get a shovel. Plugged right in there. <laughs> These Lake Region hitters are putting together some, they battle. They're making uh, Rooney earn it out there on the mound today. And Moody gets ready, and Moody's pitch. Ooh. Wow. Good spot for Brendan. Mm -hmm. Good spot. You know what, miss. Good spot. One and two. Two outs, top of the six. Runners at first and second. Cats up 12-6. Moody looking to punch this out. That's high. Gardner lays off the high one. Two and two. And uh, move on to the bottom of the sixth. Again, Gardner has popped a shortstop, been hit by a pitch, and doubled earlier in the game. Inside. Three and two, full count, two outs. Runners at first and second. What do you do, Mike? You throw a strike here. Runners may be off for Lake Region with two outs. They're probably going to be on the move. They are on the move and a high pop-up. Good battle here between Moody and Gardner. I gotta give credit to this Lake Region team. I mean, after like the second inning. Yeah. You had to wonder, but they're doing well. They are. Came to play. There's a shot. Uh, catch. Jaden? Jaden hustling in. Nice play from Jaden Baker coming in from center to make that shot. Or if that drops in, you know, at least one run's gonna score. So after what? Uh, we go to the bottom of the sixth with the Cats up 12-6. And I'm going to say Mike Baker with the call because you're doing the call. <laughs> Mike Baker with the call. Lance, it's Lance good, to, good just, to have you. Good Lance have Hall just kind of, we're here talking everything today. Good to have you here. It's the first one we've done together this yeah. year. 